Good morning, grade 10, grade 10 Macedonia, Moab, and Nazareth. This is our first lecture for bartending week 1. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to have gained at least three competencies. One, identify the basic parts of the bar in accordance with service operation requirements. Two, you are going to select and care bar tools according to use or function. And three, use bar tools and equipment. All right, the question is, why do we need to study bartending? Or operating the bar. If you are interested to work in a food and beverage industry, this subject will provide you with concise and accurate information that will make you more comfortable in the job. Studying bartending will encourage you to be confident and will help you to adapt faster to the job. All right? Operating the bar. There are three topics under this. One, different types of bar, bar setup and considerations. Two, parts of bar. Three, under the bar and back bar equipment. So under the bar or at the back, there are three categories. We have the mixing, washing, and storage equipment. A bartender formulates and serves alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks behind a licensed establishment. He also maintains the supplies and inventory for the bar. So ano nga ba yung bar? A bar is a place where drinks are prepared or mixed and served to a customer. Basically, there are only four types. We have the entertainment, coffee, stand-up, mobile, or portable bar. An entertainment or cocktail bar serves high-quality alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks including cocktails or mixed drinks. It is a bar designed to provide special entertainment like live band, a sing-along, video oke, okay, or live entertainment done by known singers, dancers, and comedians. A coffee bar has become a phenomenon nowadays as the place not only serves high-quality coffee but is also designed to be an ideal venue for a chat with friends or for holding small meetings. How about a stand-up bar? It is simply a bar counter inside a food service outlet where drinks orders are prepared. Drinks orders are endorsed to the bar and then picked up by servers to be served to customers' tables. So remember, yung stand-up bar ay part siya ng isang food service outlet. Pag kumuha ng orders ang waiter or waitress, hahatiin niya sa dalawa. Yung mga hot foods or cold foods sa pantry or sa patisserie, ibibigay niya yung sa kitchen, sa hot and cold. Pero merong kayong orders na drink, ito ay i-endorse niya doon sa stand-up bar. At kapag ready na, pipick up niya and then isa-serve sa inyo. Moving on to mobile or portable bar, it refers to a bar that is movable and can be transferred from one place to another. It is usually used for parties and for special occasions or functions such as banquet and catering. So halimbawa, yung event ninyo ay ginawa sa tabi ng swimming pool o kaya naman malapit sa beach o kaya naman sa isang clubhouse ng subdivision. Pwede mag-set up doon ng bar. Ang tawag doon ay mobile or portable bar. Ang tinatawag nating bar service brigade ay ang mga tao na bumubuo or nagpapatakbo ng isang bar. Of course, ang pinakamataas dito ay ang tinatawag natin na bar manager. He plans, directs, oversees, and controls the bar operations. Ang supervisor naman, or yung tinatawag natin bar captain, siya yung nagre-report directly to the bar manager. Kung minsan, kung walang supervisor, may bar manager. Kung may bar manager, sometimes walang supervisor, depende sa laki or liit ng bar operations. 
Ang tinatawag nating members ng Bar Service Brigade ay ang mga sumusunod. We have a bartender, a barboy, bar waiter or bar attendants, bar receptionist and sometimes with a cashier. Now, let us discuss the basic functions of the Bar Service Brigade. The bar manager or supervisor plans, directs, monitors the setup and delivery of service in the bar, ensuring that the service standards are consistently complied with. A bartender prepares or mixes alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages according to prescribed standards, while a bar boy acts as a runner and helper in the bar. Bar waiters and bar attendants take and serve beverages and other orders according to prescribed standards of service. A bar receptionist, on the other hand, welcomes and greets customers at the entrance and escorts them to their tables. Different types of bar requires different setup considerations. Yung placement, size, shape, decor, and functions. Of course, iba ang decoration kung ito ay entertainment bar. Iba din ang decoration kung ito ay coffee bar. Ganon din yung size and shape depende sa target market. The same with placement. Kung ikaw ay coffee shop, saan ba yung uh, lugar na in demand ang coffee shop? Yung entertainment naman na bar, saan mo naman siya ilalagay? Meron tayong mga tinatawag na policies or guidelines, meron tayong tinatawag na mga area na restricted para sa mga entertainment bars, meron namang lugar na madaming coffee bars kasi depende doon sa mga businesses or establishment na nakalocate doon sa area na yon. For the parts of bar, we have front, back, and under. The front bar is the place where guests sit, order, and drink. It should be functional and have adequate space for pouring and serving drinks. The back bar comprised of a top shelving where premium liquors are displayed and a cabinet underneath where reserved liquor bottles are stored. The under bar is considered as the heart of the entire beverage operations. The front bar has the different parts. Bar table, bar die, glass rack, rail, footrest, pickup station, and armrest. Under the bar, normally uses stainless steel. Ayan yung example. Bakit kaya stainless steel? Kasi ito ay durable, it can be easily cleaned, and it is not affected by the use of chemical cleaners needed to kill the bacteria. Kaya yung ilalim ng bar, ang pinaka-frequently used material ay stainless. The different parts of under bar are the following. We have the pouring station, speed reel, ice bin, butter wells, hand sink, drain board, and glass sink. Alright, bar equipment. Bar equipment can be classified into three, we have the mixing, washing, and storage. Mixing equipment is known as a cocktail station, cocktail unit, beverage center, or jockey box. Pouring stations are equipped with an ice chest or ice bin, with or without bottle wells, and a speed rail attached to the front. So, meron tayong glass froster, glasses, frozen drink dispenser, mixer, shaker, and blender, handgun for dispensing, drink mixes, containers for bottles, and of course, yung mentioned ko kanina na ice chest and ice bin. This is an example of a mixing equipment, which is known as cocktail station, cocktail unit, or beverage center, or chuck. For washing equipment, we have at least five. Three or four compartment machine, drain boards, special glass washing brushes, hand sink and towel racks, and the waste dump. A bar can also be equipped with ice and ice machines such as ice maker or ice machine, ice crusher, 
and flaked ice machine. Examples of equipment for bars serving drop beer, we have keg or half keg and beer box or tap box. For dry storage equipment, we have two examples. One, dry storage cabinets with locks. And two, under counter and back bar refrigerator. So, yung mga counters natin sa front bar, yung ilalim nun, pwede may built-in na chiller or refrigerator. And sometimes, yung nasa likod naman, yung back bar na kung saan nakastore yung mga wines and liquors natin, yung ilalim din nun ay pwede may built-in na refrigerator or chiller. There are at least at 32 or 33 bar tools enumerated in our textbook. So let us begin with a bar spoon. It is a spoon with a long handle and it is used to mix drinks in tall glasses. The back of the spoon is also used to layer drinks. A heavy duty blender is essential to make frozen drinks and blend mixed drinks. A bottle opener is one of the main tools at the bar and it is used to open bottles. A can opener or can punch is used to remove one end of a can while a can punch is used to make a hole in juice cans. A champagne or wine stopper is a special stopper with two wings that clumps over the lip of a champagne bottle to keep champagne sparkling. A citrus sester or stripper is a special tool used to cut citrus rinds into one fourth inch wide stripe. Alright, kung sa cookery meron tayong tinatawag na mortal and pestle, sa bartending naman ay meron tayong cocktail muddler. It is a wooden stick used for muddling ingredients like crushing cherries and mint leaves for some mixed drinks. A cocktail shaker is a device used to mix beverages by shaking. So yung cocktail nilalagyan niya normally ng yellow para mas mabilis lumamig yung drinks bago natin siya isa-serve. At ang standard na cocktail shaker ay meron siyang build-in na strainer. There are three types of shakers. We have Boston shaker, cobbler shaker, and a French shaker. Ang Boston shaker is composed of two. It is a two-piece shaker consisting of a metal bottom and a glass or plastic mixing glass. Ano naman yung cobbler shaker? Ito naman ay binubuo ng tatlong piraso. Meron siyang uh, cover at the top at yung end niya ay meron naman siyang built-in strainer that includes a cup. Yung cup or takip is often used as a measuring device. It measures the spirits and other liquids. Ano naman yung French shaker? Two pieces din ito. Two-piece shaker that consists of a metal bottom and a metal cup. And a strainer is always required for this type of shaker. Yung French shaker palagi yung may strainer. A cocktail strainer is a tool used with a Boston shaker to strain mixed drinks. So halimbawa, meron yung pulp o kaya merong ice pero hindi mo isa-serve. Pag nilagay mo sa glasses, sa glassware. So, gagamitan mo ito ngayon ng cocktail strainer. A corkscrew or wine opener is a device for drawing corks from the bottles consisting of a pointed metal spiral attached to a handle. An ice bucket is a container that holds the ice, while ice tongs is a tool that is used to pick up Ice cubes or ice tubes. Alright, kung sa cookery, measuring spoon ang tawag natin. Sa bartending naman, we call this jigger or measurer. This is a basic bartender's tool used to measure the liquids being placed in a cocktail to the correct amount. A juice squeezer or extractor 
is a device that helps us get the juice from lemon, orange, and other citrus fruits. So, makakatulong din kung itong mga citrus fruits na to ay isoak muna or ibabad natin sa glit, i-immerse sa hot water before squeezing. Measuring cups are used to add ingredients to punches while measuring spoons are used to measure ingredients like sugar and spices. Speed pourers are used for free pouring. Different types of speed pourers are used to pour different amounts of liquors. Knife and cutting board. A sharp paring knife and a small cutting board is necessary to cut fruit garnishes. Now, what is a wine measuring glass? They are needed to make wine mixing easier and help deliver the right quantity. So ano naman yung tinatawag nating cocktail accessories? Hindi ito edible, hindi yan kasama doon sa drink accessories. Meron tayong tinatawag na straw, stirrers, and other garnishing items. Ang bar towels naman ay part ng supplies ng bar. It is used together with cloths to keep things clean and tidy. Ang tinatawag nating plastic mats or work table rubber ay ginagamit to protect the table from scratches and other liquids. It is placed on the bar work table. So, nandiyan yan sa front bar. Bar caddies are used to hold the following cocktail napkins, straws, stirrers, and coasters. A liquor speed rail is a tool kept on the side of a bar work table. It is used to hold frequently used spirits and liqueurs. So ano naman ang tinatawag nating juice containers? Sa bar area, yung mga ingredients, hindi siya nananatiling nakalagay sa bote or sa lata na nakikita natin yung brand name. Isinasalin ito sa iba't ibang juice containers and they are sort according to color and easy storage while preparing drinks at the bar. Example, yung kulay green ang laman niyan apple juice. Yung orange ay orange juice, yung yellow ay pineapple juice, yung red ay grapefruit, yung white ay milk, at ang red naman ay tomato juice. Chopping board, paring knife, and channel knife. They are used to cut fruits at a bar counter. A paring knife is mainly used to separate the skin from the fruit and vegetables. A channel knife is used to peel off skin of the fruits and make twist shape garnishes. Now, what is a margarita tray? It is a tray with three separate layers for lime or lemon juice, salt and sugar that are used to rim on glasses. A muddler is used to muddle fruits, herbs, or spices to get the juice or crumb and release their flavor. How about an ice glass mold? Ano ba ito? It is a tool. It is filled with water and put in the freezer to make ice shot glass for special cocktails and mocktails. A bartender shoes should be something that is comfortable and slip resistant. How about a bar floor mat? It is a mat placed on the bar floor for hygienic reasons and, of course, to reduce breakage from accidental dropping of glasswares. Glasswares are used to serve drinks and it plays a big part to your overall concept. Its style, quantity, and sparkle. It expresses the personality of your bar. As a functional equipment, a glassware is used to measure the drinks you serve and conveys them to your customers. As a message carrier, serving each drink in a specific glass size and style 
tells guests that you know what you are doing. Example, may nag-order ng beer. Anong klaseng glassware ba ang gagamitin mo? So, pag nagkamali ka ng gamit, yung client or customer mo, alam niya na hindi mo alam ang ginagawa mo. Pero kung tama ang sukat, tama ang glassware, tama ang timpla, it projects a favorable image doon sa mga client mo. Alam nila na alam mo ang ginagawa mo. A glassware is also a merchandising tool. Variations of glassware used excites interest and, of course, it stimulates sales. Are you learning, guys? I hope you are. So, to summarize, ano ang pinag-usapan natin sa lesson na ito? We were able to discuss the different types of bars, the bar setup considerations, Sino ba ang bumubuo ng bar service brigade? Of course, yung bar tools and equipment. So in closing, please allow me to read a verse from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. This has been your teacher, Malu Obispo, saying thank you for listening. Stay well and safe always. Bye, guys!